You believe that you are special, that somehow the rules do not apply to you. Obviously, you are mistaken. This video is brought to you by Cobra Top G. Think outside of the matrix. 25 ways how to resist the slave mind. Please give an Amazon review. Top G really needs your help. Wow, this guy, he is next level. This video will probably contain lots of swearing and editing. Your whole life revolves around, right? I want to say, yep. in my opinion, and that's the matrix. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Andrew Tate loves trans people and playing the victim, and some of his fans may disagree, but I have proof. I'm going to give it to him. Subscribe to Slam Begad. It's a standardized playbook by the Matrix. I get attacked by the Matrix inside of the Matrix. The Matrix. It's the Matrix as a whole. The War Room is an organization I run for individuals who are trying to escape the Matrix. The devil or the Matrix or whoever you want to call them are going to fill your life with temptations. When I talk about the Matrix, I'm talking about propagated mainstream by the Matrix. They say inside the Matrix, the Matrix is after me. And the Matrix is attacking me. Basically in the Matrix, there's an artificial reality. Yeah. When the Matrix is trying to convince the world that I'm not. Up, up next is we have to beat this Matrix attack. It's head to toe garbage, the Matrix attack. But one day you will see I was right. If they don't kill me first, if the Matrix doesn't assassinate me. Oh, don't kill me. Do you feel like The Matrix is hyped up using media? Certainly, Andrew doesn't hype up The Matrix by talking about it on every podcast. There's a hostility there. Where does that come from? That comes from being a perpetual victim. Andrew is a perpetual victim of The Matrix. If he cuts his finger. The Matrix. If he gets arrested. The Matrix. But who created The Matrix movie? It was the fucking Matrix. And incidentally... You are stupid. If you're a hypocrite with a little bit of power or influence, you're allowed to be a hypocrite. Because he has no power and he has no influence. Am I sensing some sarcasm? And I have a massive influence, yes. Despite what Tate's flock like to believe, he's not Neo or Morpheus. He's Cypher, a lying, cheating scumbag who'll stab you in the back so he can enjoy all the luxuries the Matrix offers. Also, if Tate believes himself to have escaped the Matrix, then he lives on a dead, dark, uninhabitable planet and eats breakfast of champions. This is who me thinks is the average Andrew Tate fan. When you say the, the, the Matrix are out to get you and, and all this stuff, who is the Matrix? Have you seen the movie The Matrix? I actually haven't. I actually haven't. You've never seen the movie? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No. <laughs> Some of these demons have bright blue hair and they pretend they're a gender they're not and they're very <laughs> obvious. Some of them are a bit more inconspicuous and you have to work it out. They're demons. They're demons working for Satan. And Warner Brothers. Like the bloody video.